All right, folks, today we're gonna to learn about how to write absolute value inequalities using word problems. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so first thing we're gonna to need to do is know a new uh, couple of formulas. The primary formula that we're gonna be using is this one right here. It says the absolute value of x minus the mean is gonna be, for the most part, less than or equal to if we're going in between and then we're gonna note the tolerance, okay? So, first thing we need to know is identify, well, how do I find the mean? Well, remember the mean's just the average of two data points, so you use it x2 plus x1 divided by two. Add the pieces and divide by two, right? That's the mean. Now to calculate tolerance, Okay, you're gonna take the x2 minus x1 and divide by two. So it's basically the same formula, except one you're adding and the other you're subtracting. All right, so let's take a look at our first example. Okay, it says here that the timber rattlesnake is an endangered species in New Hampshire. The typical adult timber rattlesnake ranges in lengths from 50 centimeters to 150 centimeters. Write the absolute value inequality that represents the range of the lengths of the snake. All right, so here you go. First thing we need to do is we got to pick out our x1. So here's x1 and here's x2, right? So first thing we need to do is find the mean. So we're going to have the x2, which is 150, plus x1 of 50 divided by 2. We're gonna have 200 divided by two, which is 100. Okay, so there's our mean. Now we have our tolerance. So to do tolerance, we're gonna take 150 minus 50 divided by two. So we're gonna have 100 divided by two, two, which is 50. So to put it all together, the absolute value of x minus the mean, so x minus 100, close that up, it's gonna be less than or equal to because the, we're doing a range between 50 and 150, and we're dealing with a tolerance of 50 units. Okay? So there is your absolute value. Pretty simple, pretty basic once you get the, the gist of what's going on. Let's do another one. Okay. On a great day of raking, you spend at least two hours raking your yard. On a not so great day, you spend as much as five hours raking the yard. Write an absolute value that represents the number of hours you rake your yard. Okay. So, we start with, again, this is going to be a typical and statement because we're going to be between two and five. So, at least greater than or equal to, as much as would be less than, so we're gonna be in the middle. So this is gonna be still less than or equal to as our symbol. Now, so let's start by finding the mean. Okay, so we're gonna have our x2, which is gonna be five, plus x1 of two divided by two. So seven divided by two is three and a half. Okay. For our tolerance, we're gonna do five minus two divided by two. So three divided by two is one and a half or 1.5. So absolute value X minus the mean of 3.5 is gonna be less than or equal to and our tolerance is one and a half. Done, that's all we're looking for here. Moving on. Okay, pumpkins grow in a various sizes and amounts. The average size of a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin is eight and a half pounds with a tolerance of one and a half. Write the absolute value that represents the weight of the pumpkins. Now, nicely enough for us, they gave us everything. We don't have to do any math. Here's the mean, here's our tolerance. So it's just filling it in. X minus 8.5 is gonna be less than or equal to 1.5. How easy is that when they give you everything? That's nice. All right, let's move on. 
A book here is having special on admission pricing. They're offering 30% off the admission for people under the age of 10 or over the age of 65. Now here's where we gotta be careful, thinking about this. Between the ages of 10, not between the ages of 65, only the people that are less than 10 or over 65 get the discount. So if you remember, this is a typical OR graph. So instead of less than, our symbol on the absolute value is gonna be greater than or equal to here, okay? But the process is still gonna be the same. So here you go. So let's start with the mean. So we're gonna do 65 plus 10 divided by two, and that's gonna be 75 divided by two, which is going to be 37 and a half, 37.5. Sorry, I'm trying to do this in my head. Okay, now the tolerance. So we're gonna do 65 minus 10 divided by two, or 55 divided by two, which is going to be 22 and a half. Okay, so when I do this, absolute value x minus 37 and a half is now gonna be greater than or equal to, because this is an or statement, 22 and a half. There's your statement. There it is. It's as simple as that. All right, so that's the end of this video for now. Hopefully you got what you needed from this, and I'll see you next time.